Hey everyone, welcome to my first episode of Tens. What's Tens? Well, that's my version of Top Tens. Um, what I've noticed now is, uh, aside from the fact that obviously Top Ten videos are very good, very useful, very informative, um, I don't notice a lot of Top Ten videos for car stuff. And uh, I think that's something that can help because sometimes just having some quick 10 tips on anything can be very, very helpful. Uh, so this is my first episode. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like subscribe, comment, let me know again. The more I know that you guys are enjoying it and that this works and you're happy with it, the more I'll do. Uh, today we're gonna just do some very quick tips on uh, top 10 things you can look at when uh, looking at the fluids of your car. Um, I did a video last year on actually changing the fluids on your car. You can take a look at that. Um, but this one here is just some quick things just to know. This little asterisk is very helpful. All right, let's get started. So you got some water coming out of your exhaust, right? Well, a lot of people wonder about this. Uh, water coming out of the exhaust, unless you got something wrong, just as a completely normal thing. You can actually see it, even I got a little buildup right over here. And all that really is, is condensation buildup when the car is hot. Although you should pay attention to it, because if you see discoloration, blue color, sweet smells, anything like that, maybe something to be concerned about. Most times though, water coming out of here, perfectly fine. When checking your coolant, Make sure the car is cold. I know it seems obvious, and actually a lot of you guys who may watch this video may know that, but a lot of people don't. I've actually had people who come in and didn't know that, and they've had a little bit of a mess. Uh, luckily, no injuries, but it has happened. It says that most car cars these days, most modern cars never open hot. Some of the older cars don't. Don't open this at all when the car is hot. Make sure it's cold. Now it's too cold today for me to show you, unfortunately, to test this out and actually show it to you. But one thing I've gotten a lot of questions from people over the years, over the years, is I'm driving and I got water dripping out from the bottom of my car. Why is that? Um, well, unless there's something mechanically wrong, which most times there isn't, on a hot day, you're running your AC, guess what? Water condenses on the AC and then it runs right off. And that's what you're seeing dripping off of there. Very common. You'd be surprised how many people just don't know that. If you are checking your differential, uh, you want to check your fluid on the diff, make sure the car is level when you're checking it. Um, if you jack up the car and you jack up the back end, you got to jack up the front end too. That's the only way to get a true accurate reading. Of course, you got to uh, look at your car. Each car is individual. And you got to see where um, the, uh, the, the plug is to remove so you can check the fluid. But you got to make sure the car is level. Otherwise, if it's at an angle, you're not going to get accurate reading. Something simple and easy probably uh, not as important in the operation of the car as the other fluids, but just as much an important part of your car as your washer fluid. Checking it and making sure it's topped up is good for two reasons mainly. Number one, uh, there actually is mechanical in this and that there's a little motor that's what sprays the fluid up onto your windshield. And if you let this get dry, you start trying to spray, 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 wondering what's going on, it actually could burn up the motor. I've seen that happen before. Secondly, most importantly, is the safety factor. If this runs out, you don't realize it, you're not checking it regularly, and all of a sudden one day something splashes up in your windshield and you clean it off, and you don't have that fluid, that's a big deal. So make sure, something simple and easy, keep that topped up. <laughs> well, the reason I'm shooting this angle here is right under that hose right over there is where my power steering fluid reservoir is. The reason I'm pointing this out today for power steering is because you'd be surprised how much this is an issue on your steering. I've had lots of people come in over the years and they've got a little bit of a grinding noise coming in their steering. It feels stiff, it doesn't feel good. And you'd be surprised how low or empty that reservoir is over the years. Top it up, the car's working beautifully. Bottom line is guys, make sure you check in your power steering fluid and keep it topped up. Back to coolant. Uh, this one's more for the mechanical side of it than anything else, but avoid having any air get in the system whatsoever. More importantly to that, to people checking your fluid, if you open up your rad and you see that the fluid is low, you top it up and you see a lot of bubbles coming up, that's air in the system. If after you do that, you run the car and you open up the rad when it's cold and you see the coolant's gone down again, that means there is a lot of air in the system. Something you may want to get checked out, just keep top doing that, topping up, let it cool and then re-top up, um, or you may want to bring it to a mechanic and may need to get flushed out. Air in the system can cause a lot of problems, including overheating, your heater core not working, uh, all sorts of hosts of different, different things that can cause in regards to heating and the cooling of the car. So make sure no air gets in there. 
oil is the lifeblood of a car. You have all these different fluids, but the engine oil is what keeps it lubricated and keeps it moving. That's one of the most important, if not the most important fluid beyond all else, because without that, the engine will seize, won't operate. But people forget to check this all the time. And even if it's you're in between oil changes and you do oil changes regularly, you never know, especially if you have an older car, maybe you bring a little bit of oil. Uh, you want to check that just to be sure because you want to top it up. It's so simple. It's just a matter of taking out your dipstick, cleaning it off, putting the dipstick back in, and then just removing it once again and just see where the level's at. As you can see, my level's good. I don't know if it's catching there within the, the grid. So levels are good. This car luckily doesn't burn any oil, but you never know check your fluids it also gives you an idea of what's happening on your car so make sure you're checking that out aside from the obvious fact that you need your brake fluid to run your car um, without it you're not stopping mm -mm, no no um, at the same time too you want to make sure you keep this fluid topped up even if fluid is in the rest of the system it could be damaging to your car to let that fluid run past this piece right underneath the reservoir which is called your master cylinder if that empties out of fluid it can actually seize up the cylinder and then you have to get a brand new one and it's a lot of work and labor to get that done and most everyday mechanics quote unquote it's not an easy job so something as simple as keeping your fluid up to date can have save you a lot of time a lot of money and can save your life all right as you can see over here my car has a transmission dipstick just like the oil one we saw earlier same thing with this one if you have one of these it doesn't hurt to every once in a while open this up Get a clean, uh, clean, not a Kleenex, but like a rag or something. Clean it off, put it back in, pull it back out, check your trans level, level, and make sure it's good. Now, a lot of people, what's happening a lot of these days on a lot of the newer cars actually do not have dipsticks. They're sealed transmissions. These are people coming in and be like, I can't check my transmission fluid. What's going on? Can you tell me? Can you find the, my dipstick? And there isn't any. It's happening a lot now in cars, so keep that in mind. Your car may be a sealed transmission. What that means is it only has a service intervals. There's no need to ever check. It should be uh, a maintenance-free transmission. Keep that in mind. And uh, and yeah, that's that. This has been the latest installment of Tens. Hope this helps you guys out a little bit. If you guys like it, I've got a lot more stuff planned on various things, top 10 stuff, on all sorts of things from tires to maintaining your car to cleaning everything if you like it let me know i will have all sorts of new stuff coming out um other than that i really hope that you guys enjoy this video i hope you find it helpful and uh, don't forget again to check out my other video on actually more in depth on the foods themselves and thank you guys so much for watching